So for number 25 in chapter 2, you're asked to create a solution that's one liter of 0.1 molar acetate. And they want it at pH 4. What you're starting with is 0.1 molar acetic acid and 0.1 molar acetate and you're told the pKa of acetic acid is 4.76 So you can set up a Henderson-Hasselbalch equation with the information we have so far and solve for the molar ratio of acetate to acetic acid. And when you do the subtraction and take the anti-log, you end up with the molar ratio of acetate to acetic acid being 0.17. So first I'll show you the way I would have done it, and then I'll show you the way the book does it. A lot of times problems have more than one way to go, so do the way that makes most sense to you. So the way I would um, take the next step is I would cross multiply here and here. And you know there's a 1 under here because we're dealing with fractions. So you end up with a new equation. And that gives you some kind of equivalency. So for every acetate molecule that you have, it's 0.17 times the concentration of the acetic acid. So you can rewrite this equation so that you only have one unknown. So the amount of acetic acid plus the amount of acetate, which we write in terms of acetic acid, because we have that equation right above us to help us, those two species add up to the total number of moles in your solution, which is 0.1, and you're told that in the beginning. So then you can do some algebra and solve for the concentration of acetic acid. You've got a 1 here that you have to remember about. So when you add those together, you get 1.17. Whoops, this should be 0 0.1 molar. So the amount of acetic acid that you have is 0 0.085 molar, or another way to say it is it's 0 0.085 moles in one liter. So you have, you know you have 0 0.085 moles of acetic acid in one liter but it's asking you how much of, of the 0.1 molar solution of the acetic acid would you add to begin with. So this is what you started off with. How much of that would you add to get 0 0.085 moles in one liter? So if 0 0.085 
0.085 moles is what you want and you're starting off with 0.1 moles in one liter you solve for x in this in this equation and you get 0.85 liters or 850 mils so we just figured out that you need 850 mils of this original acetic acid solution to add with acetate to get your total of 1 mils at pH 4. Or sorry, 1 liter at pH 4. So the amount of acetate that you need to put in is 0.1 molar which is the total that you want to end up with minus the moles of acetate and that's 0.015 molar or 0.015 moles per liter and we want to know what volume we need to use to add 0.015 moles so if 0.015 moles are in our solution and we started off with 0 .0, 0 0.1 molar solution you get x equals 0.15 liters or 150 mils and that would be for your acetate now you could have actually just said one liter minus 850 mils because you figured out 850 mils of one species and the rest is going to be the other species but it's nice to do this math and really confirm it so I would do it this way but as you can see it's a lot more steps than the way the chapter solutions do it so now I'll walk through the way the solutions in the back do it and it's a few steps shorter but I didn't think it was as intuitive it's not necessarily what I would have done right off the bat so I'll show you that next so picking up where you figure out the molar ratio is the same whether you do it the way I just showed you or the way the solutions in the textbook does it you get 0.17 so the next thing they say is don't forget this one so that kind of helps you think there's this much of that species and that much of that species for a total of 1.17 as far as the total amount of everything that we have so you could rewrite the amounts of each thing by saying 0.17 over 1.17 for acetate and so the fraction of the solution is 0.145 your solution is 1 liter so that means you have 145 mils of acetate. They actually calculate 150 mils in their solutions because they round to 0.15 here. But I'm not sure why they did that. 
It's more accurate to say 145 mils. So then you do the same thing for acetic acid. And you get 0.854 as the fraction of the total amount in the solution. And since your solution is 1 liter, this would be 854 mils. As you can see, it's a little bit off from what we had in the solutions manual in the back, and that's because, again, they rounded when we didn't. But it's only um, a one mil difference, and so if you showed your work on an exam, for example, you'd get full credit. I tend not to round until I get to the very end, because I find that that's the way you get the most accurate answers.